Let's move on to topic number two. The Cleveland Cavaliers have hired John Beeline. Now, yes, it is surprising, mainly because of the timing on it, but it really shouldn't be. The Cavs' second-in-command, their assistant GM, uh, let's see, Mike Ganzi, actually played at West Virginia for Beeline. He was on the 2005 Elite Eight team. Beeline, 66, has never been an assistant coach. Now, I wanted to go through his career arc here because it's, it is it is like the perfect resume, right? He has built onto everything. John Beeline has gone from a high school coach in 75 to 78 to a community college coach in 78 to 82 to, let's see, Nazareth, to Lemoyne, Canisius, Richmond, West Virginia, Michigan, and the Cleveland Cavaliers. He has literally climbed every step of the way. He was never an assistant coach. He has always been a head coach. It is remarkable to see a resume like this. So the next logical step from Michigan was going to be the NBA. It has always intrigued him. His flirtation with the Detroit Pistons was, uh, was widely circulated. This was not super surprising. Now what is surprising is that Michigan, in the middle of May, is going to have to try and find a new head basketball coach. And if you want to go through some of the names, you can go through uh, Luke Yaklich, who is an assistant coach. He's only been there a couple of years under Beeline, but once he got there, he was able to implement a defensive scheme that had kept them at the top, uh, top 10 at Ken Palm in defensive efficiency in his two seasons there. Um, Sadie Washington, assistant underneath the line again. Both of these are uh, Michigan assistants. He's been there the longest. He's got ties to Michigan high schools, etc. I think that he might be the most likely candidate. Jawan Howard played at Michigan. He's a Miami Heat assistant coach. A lot of people clamoring for him to get the job. He was one of the Fab Five. This is the surprising one that I think a lot of people would be interested in. Jeff Goodman says that Billy Donovan is who he thinks will take the job. And that's mainly based on the fact that everybody kind of thinks that he will be out at Oklahoma City after this season. What is the next step for the Thunder after this season? They were not able to get it done after getting Paul George for a second season. Russell Westbrook... You know, nobody was really injured. Nobody was hurt, etc. What is Oklahoma City going to do with Billy Donovan? If Donovan is looking to get back into coaching, he would be hard-pressed to find a better job than Michigan. That's a great job in a great conference, great recruiting ground, a lot of booster support. The question is, does he want to go back to a football school the way that he was at Florida? At Florida, football was still king even after he won two national championships back-to-back. Does he want to go back and deal with that again? I could see it. I don't know what they're going to do. May is such a weird time. So we'll see who they end up taking. More than likely, it will be an assistant coach or somebody in the NBA ranks. But mainly because you just don't see college coaches leaving their positions right at the end of the late signing period. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm I'm very curious. It's an interesting predicament for Michigan to be put in. I have no doubt that they will be able to find a great basketball coach uh, 